clean in the gutters, Lunderman shop style, coming right up. So for this job, I have a few tools that are pretty rudimentary, nothing really special. Um, I use my regular work gloves to help me get the uh, ladder around when I need to. Um, and I use these uh, latex chemical type gloves because there's a lot of gooey stuff up there in the gutters and uh, you want to kind of protect your hands a little bit. So you go to a big box store and grab, grab a set of them. Um, this here is a piece of molding of some sort. Um, and I use this to help extend my arm to get into the gutter. You'll see me uh, do that. I have a really big bucket because uh, I found that the smaller buckets didn't hold enough leaves as I went up the ladder and I had to empty it and then go back up. So I've gotten a big bucket and to hold the bucket up top there, I made this hook. So this hook is made of two different hooks actually. I just found a piece of wood, drilled a hole there, put the bigger hook in, uh, drilled a hole there, put the smaller hook in. and. And when you hook it on the gutter, you can hang it up there just like that. Works like a charm every time. And then when you're done coming down the ladder, you just throw this on top of the leaves as you come back down, and you're good to go. Also, I often wear my safety goggles. Um, lots of times when you pull stuff out, there's water flying, there's leaf particles flying, there's seeds flying. So it's a good idea to wear these. I usually wear them when I'm doing the gutters. Not all the time, but usually I do wear these. And sometimes, I bring up my cordless leaf blower um, to help me get some of the, the leaves, uh, the loose leaves off the top, and then that way I have a little bit less. Um, I typically don't use the blower too much because I don't like blowing the leaves all over my house um, or blowing the dirt or the water all over. It just makes it kind of messy, but if there's a lot of loose leaves sitting on top, then I'll kind of kind of blow them off just a little bit. And I can get some of the roof as well, um, get some of the debris that's on the roof off as well. If you can get on top of a porch roof like I just did on my porch roof, um, I was able to get up there and blow everything else uh, before I emptied the gutters, and that's good. All right, so here I am high atop my ladder. Um, as you can see, I've got plenty of leaves and needles and stems to get out of my gutter. Um, we have the ash trees. We have plenty of ash trees around here, so they drop all their leaves first, and then they drop all their stems. So I've already done the front side of the house, um, and I thought, you know, this job is going so slow. How about I just make it go a little bit slower and, and create a video and show you how I do things. So. Uh, <laughs> the one the one tool that I use quite a bit is this guy here. This is a piece of molding, strip molding. We use it to uh, on our porch to keep the screen on, but I uh, use that to extend as far as I can all the way down the gutter, or as far as I can down the gutter, of course. Wear, uh, wear gloves when you work with this stuff. This is pretty gross up here. It's like taking out sewage. All right, look at this. Yes, I have had a gutter filter in these gutters. I've used gutter um, brush. I've used gutter brush in these filters or in these gutters. But see, I get so many leaves that I decided to take everything out and I get up here. Actually, but this is my second time this fall getting up here and cleaning out these leaves. So, other than maneuvering the ladder, it's just time consuming. It's not too big of a deal. It's just time consuming. All right, and here we are at about a half hour later, maybe about 40 minutes. Not too bad. Got most of the stuff out. Still got a lot of stuff on the roof there that's going to come down. But I'll check up here in about a month or so again. Won't be too uh, much of a clean out at that point. On the downspout here, Downspout, I have one of these guys. Uh, this is like a super duty um, downspout strainer. Um, I think next summer I'm going to take these out. In the summertime, these I, I think they do more harm than good because they really block up a lot of the smaller stuff that I think could pass through. And then that causes on the big downpours and the thunderstorms to uh, back up. So that's it for the big gutters on our house. Uh, I need to get down here to get that short, short gutter right there which I don't always worry about them because they don't hold a whole lot of water and they seem to never overflow. 
However, since I'm here, I got the ladder out. I'll go ahead and take care of that. The garage down here, the garage, I'm gonna use that uh, shorter ladder that I have. I know that some experts say, don't lean the ladder against the gutter. Um, that's the only way I do it. I know they have, uh, you know, claws or over the roof uh, type extensions for the ladders. Uh, for me, in this little giant ladder, it just gets way too heavy. Um, so another professional told me that if you gently lean your ladder against the gutter, um, it should be just fine. So I, I like to think that I'm very gentle uh, putting my ladder up. Uh, and that's a task in itself. Okay, so now I'm uh, working on the garage of my house. This is just a one level, uh, one story gutter. As you can see, I have a smaller ladder out now. So I left some leaves out right about there. I was able to push that leaf to the edge of the gutter. That's where I need to start um, the next time I move the ladder. So the way I know to where I put the ladder is I take this stick and I find that spot and I know that I have about that much room to move the ladder. So I'm gonna put the ladder right about here right under that light there. And that's just an easy way to, to know how far down you move the ladder. Not quite as uh, crucial when you're using the small ladder, but when you're using the big gigantic ladder and you're moving it around, uh, you wanna move it as little as possible. So you wanna know exactly where to put it for your next stop on cleaning the gutter. Here we go. Dig in. There you have it, one house load of leaves from the gutter. Beautiful. You know, um, some experts say, or I've read anyway, maybe they're not experts, that um, getting on top of the roof and cleaning out the gutters from the top is actually safer than climbing up the ladder. Um, that's okay if you're all right with getting on your roof. Um, I've never been on the main roof of our house. I know on the garage roof, I don't even like going to the uh, edge of that roof. I do clean out the gutter on the porch um, from the roof because it's at, a, at an angle that I feel comfortable with. Uh, personally, I like uh, going up the ladder. Uh, it, it takes a long time. Don't think you're going to get this done in a short period of time. If you don't have enough time, then only do one gutter or, or just don't do it at all. Do it a different day. Okay, so that's how we here on Lenderman Shop take care of gutters. Uh, there's nothing glamorous about it. You get dirty. You're never going to get the four hours back in your life that it takes to do your gutters, but uh, keep up with your gutters. Don't let plants start growing out of your gutters. That's the worst. Um, either do it yourself. If, if you're afraid of uh, heights, you don't like climbing ladders, then uh, get somebody else in there to do them at least four times a year. Um, again, I did have gutter filter. I had gutter brush in there. I took it all out over the uh, the 19 years that we've lived in this house, I've, I've tried a number of things and I'm back to just old getting the ladder up there and cleaning it out myself. So if you got a little value out of this video, go ahead and put a hammer down on that like button. Put a comment down below, let me know what you think. All right, thanks. See you on the next video.